Hey sunshines! It is time again for another monthly bullet journal setup. I feel like everyone is saying this, but how are we already gearing up for November? It feels like this year has flown by so quickly. I have a pretty cute theme in mind for this setup, but before we jump into that, let's go back and see how October is coming along. This was the nice little cover page I designed as well as the moon phases page to describe all the different moon phases. This was the monthly overview with the moon phases for each of the numbers in the calendar. Here we've got my habit tracker where I track sleep, mood, steps, water, and a few daily habits. Here's the faves and spotlight page so far. Here's the first two weeks, and then last week and this week. And now we've got a nice blank page to start planning for November. So let's get into it. So when I originally sat down to sketch out this setup, I had a whole different theme and color scheme in mind, but the idea of adding jackalopes popped into my head, or should I say hopped into my head, and wouldn't leave me alone. So I decided to just go with that and make up the rest as I went along. As determined as I was to draw a sleeping jackalope, this little guy was very frustrating. Clearly, I have no idea what flopped over bunny ears look like because I think I ended up redrawing them about a hundred times. I couldn't seem to find a reference image that best suited what I wanted to draw. I had a good reference image for the pose for the second one, so it went a lot more smoothly. So I have some exciting news to mention. I've decided to start a Patreon. 
So if you are interested in getting a printable of this month's calendar, it will be available for patrons of the channel. So check that out over on Patreon after today's video. I'll put a link in the description. Apart from the grass I added to this page, I kept the color scheme extremely simple, using only my black pens, light sand and cool grey Tombow markers, and a bronze jelly roll for some shiny accents. I really didn't want to risk dragging my hand through all that wet gel pen, so I turned my book upside down to finish filling in the end. This month I decided to switch up the layout on my tracker spread, just because as much as I loved it, I'm getting bored of filling out the same old layout every time. I find it's easier to keep up with if you change it now and again to keep things fresh. To be able to fit everything into the horizontal layout, I did have to remove the sleep tracker, but I'm alright with that. I've been keeping a much more regular schedule lately, and I do track it with my Fitbit app as well, so I don't really need to double it up. It was more so that it was in my face every day so that it would encourage me to keep a regular sleeping schedule, but now that I've accomplished that, I don't feel like I need to track it in two places anymore. So this month I'll be tracking my mood, my water intake, my daily steps, and four daily habits, which are going to the gym, eating vegan, avoiding sweets, and avoiding alcohol. Of course, I don't expect to do these things every single day. A girl needs some chocolate and a glass of wine sometimes but the idea is just to get as many as I can so that I can be healthier overall. I'll be setting up my faves and spotlight pages exactly like I did in October. No changes here. The categories I'm marking down on my favorites page are audio for any music, podcasts, or audiobooks I'm enjoying this month, visual for any shows, movies, or artists I'm loving, and food because who doesn't want to remember all the delicious food they've eaten? For my first weekly overview this month, I was kind of missing my vertical layout, so I thought about still trying to fit two weeks onto one spread, but instead of dividing by page, having one week on the left-hand page and one week on the right-hand page, that I would try dividing in half and see if I can fit a vertical layout on the top and bottom of the spread. I like how this one turned out, but for now I'll leave the bottom portion empty in case I change my mind about the layout when I set up the following week. So that's my November setup done. Let's do a quick flip through of the finished pages before we get into the actual planning. All right, so now it's time to take a look at our future log and fill in any important dates in the monthly overview and the first weekly overview.
And that's that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, and ring the bell to get notifications every time I post a new video. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.